heal her life and treat it with sodium cyanide. It's not going to make her that Yes, but not with this reaction, yes. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, like, another way. Yeah, but I'm not asking for another way. I'm asking, what is the reaction that usually it gives you a nitrile? Oh, okay. But yes, that gives you a nitrile, too. Okay. Now, let me ask you something. Is this nucleophilic? Is that nucleophilic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will this attach anything? Yes. What will it attach? <laughs> we'll attack it. Electrons? Electrophile. <laughs> electrophile. Yeah, but like what? Electrophile. Give me an example of an electrophile. Like an alkyl halide, yes? Yeah. It could also attack an acyl halide. Okay? Um, we have this. Nitrile. And we treat this with a grain yard. What does that give you? Keep going. It's going to split the heart. Carboxylic acid? Carboxylic acid? Hey. Ketone? How do you know? A ketone. Say it, man. Say it. I want you to say it. How do you know? He studied it. But is it in this paper? Yes, it is there. Where is it? On the uh, reaction with natriles. Huh? Reaction with natriles. I don't see it here anywhere. Right there, on the second page. Oh, yeah, it is. Flip the page. Oh, wow. It's right here. Yeah. It is? Yeah. The what does it give you? Ketone. A ketone. ketone. How do you expect the heat this to give you a ketone? This is a what? This is a nuclear plot, yes. yes. And the nucleophile is going to attack what? The nucleophile is going the to attack the that card. And then the electron pairs will go to the outside and it'll give you a negative charge to this nitrogen, yes? Uh -huh. okay. And is that the end of it? No. 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 That would have formed some type of some type of this, yes? Some type of that. And what do we call that from last chapter? <laughs> Emine? It's an enamine? It's not enamine, it's some type of amine. And if you add water to an amine, what does it become? NH2. Is it reversible, yes or no? Yes. Amine with a ketone, reversible or no? Yes, it is reversible. Okay. So once you treat it with a green yard, the product you are going to get is a ketone. But it will be a ketone after you do what? Water. You have to add water to it, yes? If you do not add water, the nitrogen will stay there. Okay? So, in this place here, it says that green yard plus what? H3O. H3O afterwards. Okay? All right. What else? Uh, dye ball. What does that give you? Uh, <coughs> uh, aldehyde. aldehyde. Yeah. From what? From an ester. What gives you an aldehyde from a acyl chloride? <coughs> you an aldehyde from acyl chloride. La viste. No. 
Guys, lithium aluminum hydride most of the time takes you to what? Take you all the way down to an alcohol, yes? Yeah. Primary alcohol. Yeah, if it's if it's an aldehyde primary, but what gives you from an acyl chloride an aldehyde? No. We did this, didn't we? No. Okay, look it up in the paper I just gave you. Which one? That's not lithium aluminum hydride? No, that's lithium aluminum. Who? Now, dye ball is two balls, yes? Yep. <laughs> dye ball is two balls, and so here's one of them, yes? So, and because the reason why I'm writing this is because you are going to be confused on the test with this. Okay. If I want an aldehyde from this here, if I have an aldehyde, how do I go from this ester to that aldehyde? Using what? Dibol. Okay. I call it dibol, the book says dibol. I like dibol better. Okay. And the chloride is using this. Tbutoxy, yes? It's a tbutoxy, tri tbutoxy, aluminum hydride. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes? It is lithium tri tbutoxy, aluminum hydride. And this aluminum hydride is less reactive because when you are doing a reduction it always goes through the aldehyde step yes or no hello yes. mm -hmm. it goes through an aldehyde but then the aldehyde can still react with a hydride yes right. and it will eventually give you the alcohol, alcohol. this okay. one stops there okay oh, so that's why you the dye stops the there aluminum hydride Okay. Because it'll go all the way. Yes, if you use lithium, lithium aluminum, aluminum hydride, hydride yeah. lithium aluminum hydride is nasty business. Yeah. It will make the aldehyde. Yeah. And then after yeah. that, it will make. Right. Because that can't be isolated. That yes, that can be isolated. It will make the alcohol again. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you want to stop at You said we did the last one. What happened? You said we did the last one before. Yeah, we did the last one before, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We did. Yeah. I think we did. Not, we, we did. did. We did. Right? Yeah, we did it. Yeah? Yeah. It was like one example. Yeah, one example. We did one example. Oh. So let's say... Wait, is that... No. Oh, you know, right? When you showed it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I got this. Yeah. 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 Say it, pimple. You you said something and now you don't want me to know. No, she goes. Okay, can we use this for the test? Can we go? Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Would you like to use this handout on the test? No. Right? No. We could, and I'll give you, let's say, 15 retrosynthesis because then the, I could either ask you to show me that you know this, or I could ask you to show me how to use this. What would you like better? <laughs> Guys, you are never going to have this hand out on the test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me, what is the product? Guys, 
<coughs> Looks like a cafeteria in here, man. <laughs> What's the product of that acyl chloride uh -huh. with a grain yard? With a grain yard? Uh, you have three carbon with a OH. Okay, so what happens first is nucleophilic attack here. Because of the excess. Yes. Yeah. Then that leaves, yes, and what does it form? And another one, yeah. It forms oh, a ketone. Ketone, yes. yeah. And yeah. the ketone can still react That's with the green yard, yes, yes or no? Yeah. Yes. So, because it's very nucleophilic. Yeah. Right. It's gonna and it does another effect. attack. Uh huh. Yeah. And when it does another attack, another then heart this heart will be O minus, yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Now that's not a leaving group. Yeah, but that H. You protonate that. Right. And then you protonate it with water, H3O plus. Okay. okay. All right. Because it's more basic than water. So I'll take it from water anyway. How can I stop at the ketone with an acyl chloride? Take out the water. No. Take out the water? No. There's no water at the beginning, right? No water at the beginning. It's a dialkyl cuprate. Okay? If you have a dialkyl cuprate, that means the copper with the methyls, let's say, it will stop at the ketone. Why does it stop at the ketone? Because the dialkyl cuprate is less nucleophilic. Yes? Less nucleophilic. Okay, let's do an old reaction. Let's do an old reaction from organic one. Because, because I'm going to try to give it to you on the test. This gives you this, guys. Yes? Yeah. That gives you that, yes? Yeah. And this gives you? Now, I want you to be confident that that little sheet that I gave you has everything you need to know. Actually, not everything. So, that's the least you can do, yes? All of those reactions are going to be on the test. So, let's say... Let's It's organic. I'm going to do a couple of organic one reactions now. For the rest of the semester. What? I can't hear you, man. Dale. It's organic too for a reason. Wow. It is. It means continuation of organic one. <laughs> You didn't learn this before, yes? No. Okay, so this is why I'm doing it. It's a good time for you to learn it now. I took organic one by PowerPoint. That's okay. You're taking this class with five books. So, this what this is going to give what? Grain yard. Grain yard, yeah. That is a carbon here, yes or no? Yes. This is a carbon, this is a nucleophile. Once you put a negative charge here, it will do an attack somewhere. Of course, it's going to do the attack in the epoxide or the oxyrain, yes? And it's going to open under basic conditions. And I precisely remember talking about this last semester. Because I said first one thing, and then I felt bad, and then I said two things. So where does it attack? Does it attack here or here? The one on the left. It attacks here. Because under basic conditions, it attacks here. And why does it attack here under basic conditions? Because it's less hindered. Less hindered. Yeah. But why? Why? You see, the question is not, oh, I memorized it. That's how, the, how it works. 
it is less hindered but under acidic conditions. When you put an H plus in there and this gets protonated. That tertiary okay. has more positive. A right? tertiary halide will be, I mean, a tertiary carbocation is more stable. Yeah. So this, in the presence of an acid, will open that way. Mm -hmm. And in the presence of an acid, the attack will be here. Mm -hmm. Let's say there is an acid. So I can't remember what a base does, yes? But I do know that if there is an H plus, and this is plus, if this opens, where does it open to? It will open to the side that has more substitutions. This side here will be secondary, while this side here, if it opens the other way, it will be this side here will be tertiary. <laughs> Wait, I can see. Why can't you see? You're, you're, lost, you're losing your vision. Well, yeah, that's Yeah, this primary, yes? It's primary. Yes. <coughs> so, under acidic conditions, what you have the most is this type of stuff. So, under acidic conditions, it attacks the more substituted carbon. Mm -hmm. The more substituted carbon is the one that attacks under acidic conditions. Under basic conditions, which is this, what it is, it attacks the side with less, less, less groups on it because it is less, less hindered. hindered. Okay? Mm -hmm. But if, if this were kind of the case, this will be trigonal planar, kind of flat. Yes? Mm -hmm. And the attack here in this cyclopropane is hindered a little bit. Okay, so where does it attack? It attacks here. Yeah. And this is what you're going to have, okay? You ready? Mm -hmm. There are has a carbon, and that's that carbon. Mm -hmm. And then comes this carbon. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to draw that line going down. Mm -hmm. That's this carbon. The oxygen is not going to be here. That's going to break and it's going to go that way. Right. Yes or no? Yes. yes. This carbon is this carbon. Mm -hmm. That carbon is this carbon. Mm -hmm. And what is next is another carbon. Yeah. And this carbon has what on it? It has the R1 and it has the oxygen. How is that, guys? Of course. Of course. When up to here, when the ring opens, it's not under acidic conditions, under basic conditions. When the ring opens, it will be a negative charge here, okay? I put a proton after you do what? After you add either water or H3O plus. H3O plus. I mean, that has to be pronated.
Colombia playing today or something? They win? Because they finally the other day they didn't win. They I lost still, against... I still wore my shirt. You still wore your shirt? Yes, I did. Of course. Sunday, was it? They lost against, who was it? In Venezuela. Yeah. yeah. Pinto. So, I don't know. It's okay. You play Peru. No, but, you know, that guy scored a good goal. That was, a, that was an amazing header. That was really, really He'll really never score another goal like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this one that scored the goal, he was a rookie. He's only 22. 22 years old? Murillo. 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 Murill
the same thing again. Yes? Mm -hmm. This bottom corner here, you have a methyl and another methyl. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. The oxygen was here. The oxygen is here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this used to be the carbonyl, yes? Yeah. yeah. Used to be the carbonyl attached to that. Mm -hmm. no, that's the Not one. a carbonyl anymore. Yeah. Once you add the water, this will be protonated. That will be protonated. Okay. And that is the product. Gotcha. Now, if you want to put two hydrogens here, because I put two here, you can do it. I don't want to continue doing the same thing again and again. Okay? Now, would, would it look like that on the test? I'm not sure that if I give you any multiple choice, I'm going to bring a Scantron just in case, okay? All right. So I can give you some free points, yes? There are no free points. There are no free points. No. But, but those free points that I'm going to give you, it's not going to be from a test bank. Okay? So don't bother looking for the test bank and studying the test bank because I'm going to give you the same questions. They're going to be fresh, okay? Fresh out of, out of somebody's head, yes? Uh, Fresh out of out of your cerebellum. Yeah, we do. Because even at the end of the basic, you still have to go Yeah, I know. But the way he was saying it, it was like he was just going to stay with me. Yeah. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the same thing or is that something different? Oh, that's the same thing. You got one, two, three, four. Four, four. Four, four. Four, four. Uh, I have a question. Oh, yeah. um, the oxygen that's on the right side. If you say it's going to stay O minus. Because it's you add water. Oh, uh, it's still O. Oh. Guys, what's the pKa of an alcohol, more or less? Give me a ballpark figure. And what's the pKa of H2O? 16. Nah, they can't be both of the 16, okay? You gotta choose. Alcohol is like 9. Alcohol compared to water. Give me which one has a higher pKa. The alcohol has a higher pKa. So when you have its conjugate base, and you put water, what is the conjugate base of that weaker acid going to do? It's, it's going to take, it's, it's a stronger base, it's going to take the proton, proton. from water. Yeah. Okay? And even if it's a little, let's say it's an equilibrium, it'll still take some of it. Alright. You like this one, didn't you? You did not like it? Should have chosen another career. <laughs> <laughs> Think about going into philosophy. Thank you, Steve. I that everyone. Really? Go into class. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? But you know that in pharmacy, you don't really, once you are a doctor, you don't really cover those things. You don't even know. Really? I've been in the field for eight, since I was 18 and I'm 27, for nine years. And none of my pharmacists, if you ask them anything about those reactions, they'll have no idea. Of course, what do they have an idea about? Okay, let me explain something to you about pharmacists. I have written, I have written 250 letters of recommendation. Whose phone is blowing up? <laughs> <laughs> so, and almost by now, the largest quantity of letters of recommendation I've written is for pharmacists. As I walk into a pharmacist, I'm meeting a student that I wrote a letter of recommendation for. Okay? I just went to eight of them graduated, I don't know, a month ago? I went to their graduation. Eight of my letters of recommendation. Not eight of my students, eight of my letters. Graduated the same day. And what are they going to be? Pharmacists. Do they know these reactions? Yeah. Not anymore. Do they know the reaction? Yes. 
if they took you. Some of them do, some of them don't. People that were superstars in my class still have my notes. Once in a while, go to read them, they still know them. And they go, oh yeah, Garcia taught us that. I don't have to learn that now. When you go to pharmacy school, these medications inside of your body, guess what they are? Okay. This, you know what this is called? A lactone. I'm not saying this in this class. This is called a lactone. Like a so acid. antibiotics are beta lactams. Instead of an oxygen, it's a mm -hmm. nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And how do they work inside of your body? Nucleophilic attack. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's mm -hmm. so what it is. Something attacks it. And that is not, not your body. Bacterial cell wall is interrupted by that nucleophilic attack. Okay? So, does a pharmacist need to know that? No, if you work inside of the pharmacy and you only count pills, what do you need to know? <laughs> Tell me. The only thing you need to know is if a patient comes to you and tells you, hey, uh, what is this for? Or I have this pain. What can you give me? Ibuprofen. So that pharmacist doesn't need to know. But it's a pharmacist that is doing research yeah. and is building these molecules. Do they need to know? Of course. Yeah. yeah. So do you imagine that we are only teaching this class for the people that are going to do research or we got to teach it for everybody just the same? Everybody, everybody just, the same. just the same. If the pharmacist knows it, he or she will use it. If he doesn't know it or she doesn't know it, she'll never use it as if you never needed it. But if you know it, you need it. If you don't know yeah, it. Of course. No, at retail pharmacies, they don't really use those things. But like you said, if you're doing research, that's what I'm planning on doing. A retail pharmacist, if you are a teaching pharmacist, let's say, you work, you work in a hospital, yes? And you're teaching students in your rotation, right? Mm -hmm. You work in a hospital, you're teaching students in, yeah. your, in your rotation. Do you have to know it then? So if you're doing research, you have to know it. If you're in a hospital, you're teaching people, you have to know it. And if you're in the pharmacies, you should know it too. I know it. I don't only know this. I know some other stuff too. Okay? <laughs> Lots of other stuff. <laughs> For now, the only reason why you have to know this for now, for you, is because unfortunately you're in my class. <laughs> and I'm going to class you with all okay? When you take somebody else's class, maybe you don't have to know it for now. Anyone sign it? No. Hey, do you not see who is passing it? It's LeBron James, man. That's his favorite player. LeBron must be important because I can't stop talking about it. <laughs> so Maria, what do you think? You, the one avoiding. You spit the knowledge to her. She's like, man. I know, but I most of the time I look at that one, the one that I like to pick on. There's three Marias here. No, there is more than three. No, there's only three. One. Two, three. We got Ana Maria. We got Maria. There's only three Marias. There is another Maria. Where? Where? She never comes. She. We class. just counted. There's three. There's three. One, two, three. They know each other. There is another Maria. There is another Maria in my morning class. Ah, in the morning. So. She's Maria. Who? Columbia. No. 
Oh, that's different. Wow. Okay. It's different. Okay. It's different. You okay. don't okay. just call people like that. <laughs> hey, Maria. See, she turned around. So, tell me, what's going to happen here? A reaction state's not a big no, mess. Recall. What is it? What is that? Huh? Is it an enamine? No. <coughs> is it enamine? Is it an emine? Amine. Amine. Oh, this girl, man. What are they talking? What are you talking? She's doing research, professor. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you find the class difficult. Because you never look at the board. Oh, I do all the time. This is the. Uh, you look at it, but believe me, the, the little pictures are not traveling through your optic nerve. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is an A mine, yes? Yes. And in the presence of lots and lots of water, it will go to the carboxylic acid. And in the presence of a lot, a lot of amine, it will go to the A mine, yes? The reactions are reversible. Yes or no? So, lots and lots of water. The equilibrium is going to lie to the carboxylic acid. What's going to happen is you are going to have a carboxylic acid here. Uh -huh. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Normally, you'll have the amine, right? That we never talked about. But when I cut this here, where is the amine going to go? It's still going to be attached to the yeah. same molecule. So now we have to draw it. This amine here had a carbon. Methyl group methyl here, group on and it was attached to that here. So here's the amine with a methyl group. Anything else? H. Yeah, there has to be an H here. Okay. It's under acidic conditions. That may be charged too. Okay. Which one? It, the nitrogen. Okay. Under acidic conditions, this may have a plus here. I don't care. If you write it with a plus, I give you credit. If you don't write it with a plus, I still give you credit. Question here was from an amine, I can get a carboxylic acid and the amine leaves. Yes or no? This was an ester. Yes, but that was reduction. I think you are enjoying the cyclic compounds. to tell me is how to make that. Studying weights. Studying a lot, huh? Mm -hmm. Wait until you take pharmacodynamics or pharmacokinetics. I believe you, okay? <laughs> and they're going to talk about these amines again and, and their PKAs. No, that's not in my notes. PKAs of this weird amines that you have with enamines and enamines and the medication, you will remember me. Where do you want to start with? Like, make it bungee? Hey, where's Maria? She got a stomach ache? <laughs> that's a long bathroom break. She didn't just go. <laughs> I was doing this problem when she went, before this problem. You should ask her when she comes. That's severe diarrhea right there. <laughs> it's probably like a sprinkler type of diarrhea. <laughs> 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 When she walks in, I'm going to tell her you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what she just said about you? <laughs> Do 
Do not tell her. Watch it in the video. <laughs> So, how do we make this? I mean, we can make the aromatic ring, yes? Mm -hmm. But what is that? It's an acyl chloride? No. Carboxylic acid? No. It is an ester. It's a weird ester, yes? But it is an ester. So how do we make this ester from what and what? Where do we cut it? Do we cut it here? No. no. Yeah. Can't cut it there, okay? We gotta cut it where the ester is. We gotta cut yeah. it here. And this came from a carboxylic so acid can and an alcohol. alcohol. Okay. So how did we make that? We made this from the carboxylic acid uh -huh. and <coughs> the alcohol and the alcohol was this. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that goes to this reactive to form that. Mm -hmm. Huh? They eat those two reactive to form that. Yeah. An alcohol with a carboxylic acid will give you an ester. It's called Fischer esterification. Fischer <laughs> esterification. I didn't tell you about it in nowhere. Okay. All right. So, can I form this from a CL here? Yeah. If I had this, can I still do this reaction? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But what's generated in this reaction? HCl. Yes. HCl. And this HCl can do weird things. Yeah. At least here. What are we going to add to that in, in addition to that? Period. 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 And the pyridine is a base that will get the HCl. It's not called get the HCl. It's going to form pyridinium. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, that's it. By the way, nobody has taken more classes with me than Maria there. Okay. How many is that? Seven? Oh, now you want to make it up? Yeah. <laughs> Do I look like a girl? I'm not a girl. I don't make stuff up. She knows that. Okay. How do you go from here to here?
you know, the Garcia. That's my brother leaving with diarrhea too. Everybody around me. <laughs> 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 you gotta stop waiting because the test, you're not gonna have me. I know if I can take more. So then I wait. Okay, look, I'm gonna give you a hint, okay? I'm gonna give you a hint on what you are supposed to be thinking about when you do retro sentences. Okay. The functional group is where here. The functional group is here. This can undergo what? This can undergo attacks from things, yes or no? Yeah. Now, this has how many carbons? One, One carbon. Which is this carbon? Yeah. Yeah. This carbon, what does it have attached to it? So it has one carbon attached to it and another carbon attached to it. Yes or no? Yes. It has two carbons attached to it. And it has an oxygen. And this oxygen here could be coming from... Where could this be coming from? If I cut this here, because you always cut between the oxygen and the carbonyl. If I cut that there, what is it? What is this? Alcohol. It's an alcohol. alcohol. Is an alcohol. And that is? Uh, like Carboxylic acid, acid, or it could be an acyl chloride, yes? Acyl -chloride, acyl -chloride. How did I put methyl groups? If that were an alcohol, how did I put methyl groups on this thing? Green yard? From what? Green yard? From green yard. Excess green yard. But before I put the methyl groups from the green yard, I must have had what here? An hour. Must have had some. No, okay, go ahead. You look down into your paper and do some of that stuff and see. You look in the little paper, see what you can do. Because you don't know the reactions yet. So you can't do anything. Look at what you did and see what you need to do more. Thank you. 
Sophia, are you talking about my class? Yes. Really? Yeah. I can read the lips. Bless you. You did not say Grenier. <laughs> La Vista, what would you do, man? That's what's giving you the diarrhea, man. <laughs> okay, you ready? You want me to do it all right? Yes. Let's do it. Okay, but you don't learn anything from me doing it. You learn from you trying to do it. So we are going to cut this here. Right? This is called retrosynthesis. I do not have in my brain how to go from here to here all straight. I mean, if you do, congratulations. Good for you. You should be teaching chemistry. Okay? But if you don't, you cut things one at a time. Because when they get hard enough, you can't do it in your head. I'm going to cut this here. And when I cut this here, I'm going to have an alcohol because this is an ester. Yes? This is an ester that gets cut into an alcohol, I can't cut it here, right? Because if I cut it here, how am I going to place anything here? Right? I can't cut it here. I got to cut it here. And this is going to now look like this. And what do I put here? Orange. Yeah. I could put, I could put an OH. I could also put a CL. Okay, I can put an OH too. Of course, which one is more reactive, a carboxylic acid or an acyl chloride? Acyl chloride. Acyl chloride is, yeah. is more reactive. You can do it either way, it doesn't matter to me. And where did I get this from? I got this from where? This is an alcohol. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You get an alcohol with two of the same groups on that carbon from where? From a Grenier. Grenier. From a Grenier. That's right. We got this. We're going to cut this group and that group because they are the same. We got this from the Grenier. How many times did the Grenier take place? Twice. 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 So Twice. that's Twice. excess Grenier. Mm -hmm. So we got this. <coughs> we have this from this. Yes or no? Now, what am I going to put here now? This was to there, this was green yard with this. I want to know what I put here. Yeah. You get it? No way. You get an alcohol from a green yard with a carbonyl. What do I put here? OH? Okay. If you put OH here, that's fine. If you put OH here, this is acidic, yes? And this is a base. 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 If it's you gonna put this, it's going to take that the proton. proton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. What else can you put? What else? You can, guys, you got to get used to, okay? The best thing to put on things is CL. Yes, it is CL. Okay. <coughs> It is a CL. But of course, where did you get the CL from? From the carboxylic acid. Okay? Yes? And where do I get this carboxylic acid from? From this nitrile. Okay? Like Louis Lavista was saying, right? You Louis Lavista or you Chase? Chase. 
You treat this with water. Like he was saying, yes. Huh? Sodium hydroxide and heat, yes. I don't think I talked about that very often. Based on your paper. Oh, it's based on the paper. Sure. You can do that too. But we're going to do it with this one, okay? Which is the one that we have been talking about the most. Second here is. Yes, those here. That gives me the carboxylic acid here. The first step will give me this. Yeah, yes or no? Acid, yeah. Second step is I need to make the chloride. Yes? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I can use a green yard. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I make the chloride with <coughs> SOCl2. So that is going to make this. What's the third step? The green third green step green is green yard. CH3 and GBR. And this is? Excess. 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 Copious amounts. So in the third step, what else? I need to add something else to this, yes? Because the green yard is basic conditions, yes? Yeah. This is going to stay as the ether, not the ether, the alkoxide, yes? So you pronate it, yes? Whatever you want, acid or water, and that will give you one methyl from one grain yard, the other methyl from the other grain yard, the oxygen with the negative charge under basic conditions, and then protonation gives you that alcohol. <coughs> So I guess that we can call this 3 comma 4. Yes. What's the next step? Now I have the I have this alcohol. I need to add this acyl chloride, yes? Of course, I had the acyl chloride already made. So what am I going to do? Add CH3, Cl. Anything else? Else? What did you put pyridine then? I don't know, I'm asking you. You generate here HCl, so. Yeah, you put pyridine. Yes, you put pyridine in. Anytime you have an acyl chloride with an alcohol, you put pyridine. Does that say that in this paper I gave you? Please look for it. Tell me. Did you find it? Yes. Acyl chloride with an alcohol. Do you ever put pyridine? Yes. Where is it? I have. On the CL side. It's on the left hand side. Yeah. <coughs> How do you make that? What type of compound is that? That is an anhydride, yes? Anhydride. Does it work the same as an acyl chloride? Yes. It, it works exactly the same as an acyl chloride. Okay, so an anhydride. And this is the same. Which one is more reactive, anhydride or acyl chloride? Acyl chloride. Acyl chloride is more reactive. Yeah, most reactive. The anhydride is less reactive. Mm -hmm. Should we add pyridine since it's less reactive no. and less of a problem? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. <coughs> Tell me how you'd make that. 
Yes, the anhydride. Once again, you saw that in that paper. Of course. <laughs> I want you to tell me one of the ones you have seen here before. The water? Yes, you do treat it. Now, if you treat it with water, it'll put a carboxylic acid here, yes? Water will put an OH here. If that had a managed starch, would it do any nucleophilic attack here? Yes or no? Yes. What's the other one you said? Um, okay. For that reaction, what solvent would we add? Huh? For that reaction. Which one? The acetic acid? Uh, the fluoride, yeah, with the uh, whole minus. The one under it. Acetic acid. <coughs> The solvent is oh, it's okay. the same. Okay, you want to do another retrosynthesis? Yes. You will feel comfortable when you do five million of these, yes? Compound is that? Enamine. That's an enamine, yes? Enamine. Yeah. An enamine. And where do we get an enamine from? Secondary amine. Secondary amine. Which is the secondary amine there? The top, which is nitrogen with CH3 and CH3. Two CH3. Okay. And what else do you get an enamine from? That secondary amine and what else? skydiving oh, very oh soon God. oh you're gonna have fun so if I, I'm gonna write the final exam so in case I die I asked for a girl to uh, be strapped on to <laughs> <laughs> I have never done it no you gonna do it yeah that's crazy you never do it I would never do it why that's on my bucket it's too dangerous it's dangerous would you get on a motorcycle? Yeah, motorcycle. Oh, really? Okay. You want to go skydiving with me? Sure. Why not? Let's go. Don't worry. I'll land on my left leg, so if anything, yeah. I'm going to get broken bones. That one is not going to get hurt for no, sure. No, it's not going to get hurt, so. You know. What happens if it, if it goes loose in the air, man? I'll grab it. See <laughs> <laughs> <Is he> like <laughs> Eighty thousand dollars in your hand. Eighty thousand dollars? Better break your leg. That's eighty thousand dollars. All right. So 
Where are we going to cut this? This is an enamine, yes? Yes. An enamine comes from some type of carbonyl with a secondary amine. The secondary amine is this secondary amine because I cut this here. And I put the carbon-oxygen double bond here, yes? That means that the rest of it has to look like that. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Hello? It's a ketone, yes? Yeah. Really? You got grabbed? <laughs> Damn, boy, aggressive. <laughs> All right, so this is a secondary amine right here. Okay? Now, this is what I have. How do I go from here to there? Wait, how do you go? How do I get from here? To here, I, we already got this part, yes? The mm -hmm. enamine part. That was easy. I need to put what? How many carbons does that have? One, two, three, yes? And this needs to have one, two, three, four, and five. I need to add how many carbons more? Two more. I need to add two carbons more. Grain yard? I can do cyanide and reduce it. I should know, right? Did he? No. Green yard from what? Can we use cyanide? What do you mean, can we use it? This is a ketone, yes? How many reactions give you ketones for this chapter? Uh, you don't know many that give you ketones. What? Yeah, you can um, CO, CL2, so that gives you the... CL2? CL2. Okay. And then you can uh, do the gradient to get a ketone. Okay, so you can get a ketone from? From the acetone. From secondary. You can get a ketone. You can get a ketone from a nitrile and a grain yard. Yes. You can get a ketone, like she was saying, from acyl chloride, yes. And And the dialkyl cuprate, yes? Oh, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do on this test, but uh, <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting discouraged. La Viste, so what's the first thing? Add water, right? <laughs> so, first things first, okay? This came, this thing came from this, yes? And I extended this chain two carbons. Yes? Mm -hmm. And I extended this chain two carbons, and this could be here MGBR. What reacts with a grain yard and a carbonyl? We treat this with SOCl2. What does that give us? Yeah. Carbon with triple bond. Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. And if we treat this now with a grain yard, what do we get? What's the grain yard that I got to treat this with? Two carbon grain yard, yes? Yeah. Here is one, two, three. One, two, three. I need to add how many more carbons? Two. One and two. So there it is. One and two. After the grain yard, I got to add what to this? Got to add water or some type of acid. What is that going to give us? On the second step, 
Yeah. We are going to have this. Let's say, should we say water or just H3O plus? H2O plus or H3O plus? Okay. So carbonyl, extend the chain by two. And then what else? Secondary amine. Anything else? Do I need to add pyridine? No. No pyridine? Excess happens more than once, and if you don't put it, it happens once. But excess of that same one, or excess of what? I do put the CH3 in the Ukrainian and the top excess. If you put excess, I don't care. It shouldn't be excess. So you mean to say that every time you see a green yard, it's easier for you if you just write excess everywhere. Is that what you mean to say? Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> but it doesn't happen in excess here, does it? Mm -hmm. How many times does it happen here? Once. It happens only once, once. okay? Mm -hmm. Once. When the green yard is on this type of thing, to give you an alcohol, yeah, then it does happen case. twice. Yeah. So, because it happened twice here, that was excess. So there is a reason for it. <coughs> Holy moly. Is that the time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, we got to start the next chapter. Say what? Is that what it's yeah, the next chapter is on the test too, but not on this second test. <laughs> but it is on the test, the same thing is not on the test. Look, this is the type of reactions Pitbull likes. <laughs> Organic one reactions. I would be doing an injustice if I don't help you with organic one, you know? But if you sing for everybody, I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you sing. What if I sing? If I sing? <laughs> I bet you sing in the shower. Okay. Tell me you'll sing in the shower. So guys, okay, you think for a minute what you have to do here. How do we get a double bond? Elimination. So I have to have some type of elimination from somewhere. How many carbons? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oof. We don't have to add carbons. We don't have to take them away. Okay? So I need what from here? I need an alcohol. And then from this alcohol, I got to make that alcohol a good leaving group and then eliminate it. Yes? With a base. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. So you got to reduce a carboxylic acid to an alcohol. How do you do it? Hello? <laughs> La. Excess or whatever. Excess. Excess. And then? And then? This first and second part will give me that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I need to make this a better leaving group. We're going to do that with tosyl chloride. I don't think I have shown you enough about tosyl chloride. Yes? 
Tosyl chloride is this group. Here's a CH3 here, and that's toluene sulfonyl, so ta for toluene, and sulfonyl sil chloride. You get the name for where it comes from? After you have tosyl chloride, which is a very good leaving group, what are you going to do next? So we're going to say in step three, we're going to add tosyl chloride and some type of base because there is an OH and a Cl formed from here. We're going to add pyridine. So in the third step, this is what you are going to have, the oxygen and the tosyl. So the negative, the base pull this off and that oxygen, attack this, yes, substitution. And now what do I need to treat this with? With a base. Since we don't have this base to do an, any nucleophilic attack. Yes, we don't want a base to attack here. Right. And instead of giving us an alkene, it will do an SN2 reaction. We have to use a base that does not feel like a nucleophile. Which base are we going to use? Tibutoxide. We're going to use a hinder base called tibutoxide. So sodium or potassium tibutoxide. Okay. This hinder base is going to pull one of these hydrogens here, and it's going to have a leaving group. Mm -hmm. Guys, on Monday, I mean uh, on Tuesday, we are going to start the next chapter, okay? And you're going to have one hour and 45 minutes of something else It's not this. I cannot talk about this anymore because we have to go. Okay?